For the first time in more than six weeks, Lahaina residents will be able to see what's left of their homes after deadly wildfires quickly spread across Maui. The area is still considered a disaster zone. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. Tonight we're learning lithium ion batteries have complicated the recovery from the disastrous fire. CBS 8's Jenny Day joins us with the latest. 97 people died in that horrific blaze. 31 are still reported missing. Countless others are picking up the pieces and learning from what happened. Here locally, lithium ion batteries were the topic of conversation at the most recent San Diego City Council meeting. We're also seeing a little bit of hope coming out of Hawaii. Strength and resiliency coming in many forms across Maui. The banyan tree, for example, left charred by the fire, is now showing signs of life. This sprout from the 150 year old tree is providing hope. The historic tree is considered part of the life and history of Lahaina. It is a, a pretty uh, sobering and uh, heavy uh, scene here. Battalion Chief Robert Resende with San Diego Fire Rescue was asked to go to Maui because of his expertise on the growing use of lithium ion batteries. More than a month later, the electric vehicles that burned are still posing a threat because they're hard to put out, hard to dispose of, and they release explosive and toxic gas. They're found in everything from e-bikes to solar panels to drill drill bits and lawn equipment and wind uh, wind farms and laptops, cell phones. So it's not your typical double A's. It's the lithium ion batteries that can catch fire quickly and without warning. This is definitely a threat in our city streets. The chief provided a lot of examples in a presentation to the city council. They are looking to create an ordinance here that regulates the use and storage of lithium ion batteries. The hydrogen gas buildup will create this type of force. This is not sped up. Thankfully, nobody was in the bus. The door almost hit the firefighter in the head there. Lithium ion batteries can combust and create a chemical reaction if they're crushed. For example, an e-scooter hits a curb at a high rate of speed or an electric vehicle is in a crash. EVs run on 400 volts of electricity. For comparison, our trolley runs on a 600 volt line. It can happen within seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months later. There are also manufacture defects like short circuits and overheating. Also, if it's stored in the sun and no amount of water or smothering works to get them out. So the road to Lahaina for residents will reopen on Monday again, though, because of the dangers that still exist in that burn zone, they will be asked to wear personal protective equipment when they finally get in and are able to assess the damage. Maui will reopen to visitors on October 8th. So for us here at home, city leaders say to look for this UL symbol on the packaging or the battery itself. That means it's in compliance with current safety standards. I'll also put a link on C cbs8.com that provides locations where you can safely dispose of batteries. Reporting in studio, Jenny Day, CBS 8.